Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap, also the home of a bunch of opinionated crap. Hey, Ma. Anyhow, moving straight into it today. Today we're going to be talking about a uh, game that's been out for a good little while. We had never picked it up, uh, you know, on its initial release. We actually waited. We got it on sale a long ways back, uh, you know, for super cheap. It was like, you know, I don't know, 10 to 13 bucks, somewhere in there. Uh, on clearance from Target or something or another. Uh, but we had picked it up, you know, we had never even cracked it open or anything like that because we got a plethora of, like, you know, games that we still need to revisit and either finish and or play, uh, you know, to completion and or even dive back into and, you know, revisit on their own just because the kind of games they are are good games worth revisiting. But we did finally crack it open, and of course, we were talking about Uncharted Lost Legacy. So, Uncharted Lost Legacy, what can be said about this one? Well, for any fan of the Uncharted series, especially Uncharted 4, which this one pulls from, for the most part, with, uh, you know, kind of the gameplay style and graphically and, you know, physics and all that, uh, you know, then there's definitely some good fun to be had. Now, with that being said, uh, you know, this is a preemptive, so we haven't gone through the entire, uh, you know, story that it has to offer or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, there is a subtle difference in playing as, uh, you know, uh, Chloe and uh, having Nadine there and whatnot uh, versus Nathan Drake. Uh, and, you know, that is that is very kind of, uh, you know, noticed from just the the feeling and mood you get when you kind of sit down behind it and such now does that make it unplayable in no way shape or form does it but there is some subtle like you know differences to uh to just the overall kind of feeling of the game and the mood that it kind of uh at least put us in and such not in a bad way but you know it's different so it, it is perfect at the uh, price point they release this at i think they released it at like 40 bucks because it is almost like a, a standalone title but it's so closely tied into uh you know the uncharted world and universe and everything like that uh and then of course like like lengthwise, like we said, this is a preemptive, so we can't, uh, you know, really say for certain how long it's going to take, uh, you know, average, average run of the mill Joes such as ourself, uh, you know, to kind of go through the entire thing. But uh, you know, it is solid as far as gameplay and everything. The controls are solid, uh, and it's an additional plane of Uncharted Four even though you're not playing Uncharted 4. So anyone looking to just kind of dive into just a little more of that universe and get a little more of that experience that it has to offer, uh, you know, definitely Naughty Dog is top of the line for any of that. So play it, don't play it, we don't care. We just want your money. So there you go. Uncharted Lost Legacy, preemptively, what can be said about you? Now, all in all, you get a U4. Because it's like Uncharted 4, but it's not. So maybe uh, N U4, not Uncharted 4, but it's really close to it. So there you go. Anyhow, give us money. Have a good one. You try it, and we'll catch you next time. Probably won't.